Barump Early Learning Academy, our goal is to provide a complete nurturing environment for the growth and development of the whole child, socially, emotionally, physically, and intellectually. Children are natural explorers and need hands-on experiences to help stimulate their own imaginations. We strive to meet the needs of each individual child at their developmental level through planned activities plus help each child attain a higher level of achievement. Call 751-5335 for more information. News 46 is brought to you by Comfort Hospice Care, where we give our patients and their loved ones peace of mind, knowing we provide the highest quality of care 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. For more information, call 751-0349. News is also brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. Tonight on News 46, Creekside celebrates an anniversary. The JROTC students have a ball. And a pancake breakfast Saturday will benefit the Boy Scouts. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell and Jason Koblenz. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening. It's Friday, March 28th, 2014. I'm Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. In recognition of Earth Hour, Clark County will join the resorts on the Las Vegas Strip and millions around the world by turning off the lights at the Clark County Government Center in downtown Las Vegas. A global reminder to residents to power down their homes for one hour tomorrow, Saturday, March 29th at 8.30 p.m. 45-year-old Robert Pearson was back in court this week after he was found not guilty in a child sex assault case in February. A recent court hearing for Pearson, he faces now charges that he was allegedly in possession of child pornography. The complaint states that Pearson allegedly mailed several photos from his Pahrump address to an inmate in prison in Lovelock. That the females depicted in those photos were under the age of 16. On February 13th, Pearson was found not guilty of a charge of, charge of lewdness with a child under 14. That charge stemmed from a June 2013 allegation that he had inappropriately rubbed himself against a nine-year-old girl he was babysitting. Pearson also has been allegedly arrested in California for child cruelty and in Reno for sexual assault of a child. State Treasurer candidate Dan Swartz spoke to News 46 about his campaign. The campaign is going well. Uh, we uh, at the moment are unopposed. Uh, we've got uh, some good funding. Uh, we um, say we'll hopefully uh, get through the primary and then uh, we go after our, uh, our challenger. You've uh, ran for ele uh, election ran before? For before, yeah. yeah. Um, the uh, congressional race in 2012 was a good race. Uh, I didn't win it, but uh, I learned a lot. Uh, I learned about the political process and uh, I uh, took a couple months off, decided that this is something I wanted to do, and uh, I will do it. Let's talk a little bit about uh, your professional career. Sure. Um, I have both a law degree and a business degree. I have uh, 35 years of financial experience in uh, all aspects of the financial industry, uh, uh, banking, uh, uh, trading, uh, portfolio management. Uh, equally important is I have uh, founded uh, a couple of businesses. I have some others. And that that's the real, was really the tough part, uh, to build a business, uh, to be able to sign the front of the check as opposed to the back of the check, uh, and ultimately to uh, manage, grow, and uh, uh, earn, earn some dollars. 
And that is, of course, going to be easily transferred into the state treasurer's office. What are some of the things that you would like to see implemented there? Sure. I mean, I, I think what the crucial uh, difference is between the current Democratic treasurer and the current Democratic controller is the Democratic treasurer is no doubt a good lawyer. Uh, she is not a good inv chief investment officer, which is what the treasurer is. Uh, the state controller, very good accountant, very good bookkeeper, but not a lady who truly understands the investment business. Um, you know, ultimately, the state treasurer has three or four tasks: uh, debt issuance, uh, managing the schools, uh, managing the state's school funds, uh, and unclaimed property. But far and away, the most important task is investing the state's money. Uh, right now, we have a, a, a treasurer's office. Uh, that is earning on paper one half of one percent. Aside from the fact that the S and P, which is not a direct comparison, uh, earned twenty nine percent. Aside from the fact that bond funds earn about three percent, we are earning a half of one percent. Now, does that mean we're making money? No, because there's inflation and fees, and we have a state treasurer, state treasurer's office, who is losing one percent of our money. Uh, that's just not acceptable. And as we head into our break, here's what's happening at the Prompt Nugget. I'm here at the Prompt Nugget to tell you about this UTV that's going to be given away on Saturday night at 9.30. You can still get your entries in right now for the off-road cash course giveaway. The drawings will be held every 30 minutes from 6 to 9 p.m. And come on down to the Prompt Nugget to get your entries in right now. You can earn up to 10 times the points Tuesdays and Thursdays with the Mystery Point Multiplier. Of course, tonight on the stage bar is Too Smooth and tomorrow night as well from 7 to 10 p.m. Come on down to the Prump Nugget and you can also take advantage of the free play frenzy down here at the Nugget. Earn 600 base points on Sundays and on Monday you will receive $20 worth of free play. Come on down to the Prump Nugget, Lakeside and Gold Town. This is Deanna O'Donnell. This portion of the news is brought to you by Albertsons. You're in for something fresh. And welcome back to News 46. 44-year-old Christopher Willing was found guilty of possession of stolen property and methamphetamine this week in court. Police searched his property last year and allegedly located a stun gun, a tire machine that was reportedly stolen, and almost four grams of meth at the property on Bison Street in February of last year. Willing is scheduled to be back in court on July 18th for sentencing. Students in the junior ROTC program at Pahrump Valley High School held their annual ball at Nevada Treasure RV Resort. The military ball is a traditional event that every military unit has everywhere across the world. It's where we honor uh, those who served America. We have uh, special ceremonies for our missing in action, killed in action. Uh, those are our POWs. have a little ceremony for them. Then we go through all the toasts to the president, the country, the flag and in, uh, chief of staff for the services and it's just to show the young people what the military is all about in some of our traditions and ceremonies. They really look forward to this event every year. Yes, uh, they, they, it's kind of the highlight. It's like the senior prom for our cadets. It really is. Uh, we're at Nevada Treasure RV this time. You guys decided to use this location. Uh, because we've grown so much, we've outgrown the golf course uh, where we held it one couple of years and then the nugget we've, been, we've used them quite a bit, but we, you know, they invited us here, so we decided to try it. And you guys have grown. Tell me what you guys have to offer there at Prompt by High School. Yeah, we've grown from 125 cadets to we're at 288 over the last five years, and we have a lot to offer them. You know, leadership. Uh, they get to train and march and wear the uniform. Uh, three weeks from now, we're going on our uh, what we call Jiklik. It's the Junior Army ROTC Leadership Camp. This year, it's going to be at Nellis Air Force Base with the National Guard, Nevada National Guard being in charge. Last year, it was at 29 Palms with the Marines. The year before that, we went to California with uh, another Army unit at Fort Orr. So we've been all over, try to give them a test of different services and different uh, 
venues where the, they might be stationed if they decide to join the military. We're going to be saying goodbye to the senior class of the Junior ROTC this year too. Yes, our seniors will graduate. We'll have a big change of command in May, probably around the, it's around the 10th, I think, if I remember right. And also, you're going to have a big change. You've been serving uh, in the military since 1966. You're going to be moving on. Yes, I'm retiring at the end of this school year, and me and my wife are moving to Kansas. For That's where our families are at. She's from northeast Kansas. I'm from southeast Kansas. So we're going to kind of park in the middle so we can see all our kids and grandkids spread out over over Kansas. What are the kids telling you about you leaving too as well? Oh, they're, they're all trying to talk me into staying and they all want me to stay for their senior year. I said I can't stay for everybody's senior year, you know, so I got to go because my family says they want to move on. And a fond farewell to Colonel Hine. He will be missed. Creekside Hospice invited the community down to their location on Calvada yesterday to celebrate their anniversary. This is our open house, just to invite the community over, have lunch with us, and just meet the staff. So we are here located on Calvada. Tell me a little bit about this office. This office is dedicated to where hospice care. We take care of the community for any hospice needs they have. Um, we customize our treatment plans to their needs. It's not a cookie cutter um, plan, so whatever the patient needs is we're here for that. You've been here for how long? Here at this office, the office has been here for two years now. I personally have been with the office since January. And you guys are having an upcoming senior dance too as well? Yeah. May 17th, we're doing our senior prom at the Senior Center. This is going to help raise money for their Meals on Wheels program. And that's going to be a lot of fun. Can uh, all the seniors participate or people that are regulars to the Senior Center or who? Nope, it's open to any seniors in Pahrump. So tell me a little bit about what we're seeing here today. You guys are out in the parking lot kind of greeting people. You have your regular clients coming by and uh, just the community in general? Yeah, anybody that is welcome. We did advertise in the newspaper. Anybody can come down. We're here from 11 to 4. Um, we invited all of our local business neighbors to come eat lunch with us and just get to know us. Wonderful. For more information on Creekside Hospice, how can people contact you? They can give us a call at 775-727-7000. And if people want to come by the office here? 2200 East Calvada Boulevard. And the hours of operation? We are here from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. Thanks. When we come back from this break, we'll have your Save a Pet and some video footage of something you don't see every day.